So today we are going to teach you as well as your client how to increase your credit score fast. Now sometimes you know you might be applying for um, your client might be applying for a mortgage and they may bring you their own credit report and you see that it is slightly below the minimum uh, credit score that your lender is you know willing to lend to so you know you tell your client hey you are just you know a little bit off maybe you should increase your credit score fast and in that case i am going to teach you a few tricks today so that you know it hopefully it helps you you rescue the deal um, and the first way to do that is obviously pay on time have the client pay on time right if he's always late and that's why the credit score is not so good you know this is just common sense from now on just do not pay late just pay on time right so that is one of the ways to increase that fast right but the more important one is diversify the balance now this one is not a lot of people know and i'm going to teach you right say that this client has um three different credit card with you know limit of five thousand dollars each right and most of the people most of your client would you know use use one of the three more often than not right than the others so this one credit card that is their favorite credit card maybe they are saving a lot of points on it travel points or something like that it might have a balance of four thousand dollars there right so that is 80 percent utilization so five thousand dollars limit this guy used four thousand dollars so it's 80 percent utilization right so instead of having four thousand dollars in one card and zero balance on the other card if this guy just use say what fifteen hundred on one card fifteen hundred on the other card and one thousand dollars on the third card their utilization um, percentage is much lower and that way the credit score would increase tremendously uh, Equifax just uh, said that the balance of the credit card basically count one third above your credit score so if you can lower the utilization percentage um, then you will increase the credit score by a lot right and and so um, please take that into consideration and teach your client right so diversify the balance the third one and is also very important is never over the limit now you may say well if the credit card has a limit of five thousand dollars and i can i can only use five thousand how can it be over the limit well technically speaking you can because say that your balance is five thousand and the limit is five thousand you may have incurred some accrual interest you might have some interest coming up you might have some like a uh, charge back or you know something like that so it can actually be over limit in fact some credit card allow you to go over by a little bit without bouncing your credit card uh, uh, transaction so but i know for a fact that it, as soon as you over the limit your credit score will drop a lot right so if your client has some credit card that is approaching or close to the limit make sure that you ask them to pay it off as soon as possible lower the the, the balance okay and this one is also one of the few tricks that people knows keep all card active so just using the same example this kind may be using the four you know their favorite card and the balance is four thousand dollars the other two cards they may not have even used it for over a year or you know just maybe once um, in the last 12 months or something like that right just ask them to use it once or twice like 
recently before applying for the mortgage so that that card the last active date is up to date right so so it would actually help on your credit score so just ask them to you know go to uh, gas station use it and then just pay it off right away something like that that would be fine and that would keep the card active okay so make sure you keep all the card active okay and lastly, um, check if there's any incorrect information. You know, sometimes when you pull the credit bureau and then, you know, you find that, oh, someone with a name that is very close to you has some bad credit or, you know, the address is not correct or something like that. Well, then that credit score is not even yours, right? It's not even correct, right? Um, and so, if you pull the credit bureau, but it's not correct, then you know most lender would actually stop the deal and ask you to go fix it first, right? So you might as well ask your client to go check their credit, make sure everything, all the information is correct, and if not, fix it before you come to see you, because you know once you put in an offer to purchase the property and you know there might be a condition on financing five business days it is not enough time for them to correct it and have a fresh report right you know sometimes equifax and, and transunion take some time to update and correct the the information right so you might want to tell your client hey you know what go check your credit and make sure everything is correct if all the information is correct right okay so that's it for this uh, episode uh, i will have a weekly video all the time and if you want to um, get you know a, a notification every time i upload a video you just subscribe uh, hit the subscribe button below on my video and um, i have a live workshop every month and the information is also below on the website uh, mortgagehackercanada.com you can actually sign up right on the site um, and then you will receive email notification right and then also uh, i have my book on amazon so you can click the link or you can go to amazon and find search for my book and you can you know definitely benefit from some of the information i have in there okay so i'll see you next week thank you